this video, I'm going to show you how to utilize the adjusted final grade option in the D2L gradebook. You would use this functionality if you want to be able to manually confirm or edit your students' final grades or grade averages before you publish them to your students. The alternative to the adjusted final grade is what's called the calculated final grade, and you can release that to your students, which auto-publishes their grade average so you can't and don't have to manually confirm the final grades. But for the adjusted final grade option, you will be manually confirming and or editing your students' final or current grades before they're released to the students. Now the D2L gradebook is set up by default to use this adjusted final grade option, so you don't actually have to do much to set this up. For your first step, let's just confirm that the adjusted final grade option is being used. To do this, you're on your grade screen, you're going to go to the settings area, then you're going to go to the calculation options tab, which is the third tab, and then you're going to make sure that adjusted final grade is the one that's released. I'm going to go ahead and click on the question mark to show you how D2L defines the adjusted final grade. And this says the value in the adjusted final grade field is released to users as their final grade. Once that's selected, you'll hit save, say yes, and hit close. And now we're going to have the option to manually edit that adjusted final grade before it goes to your students. So let's go to the enter grade screen and let's take a look at how this column actually works. You'll see here under final grades, you have your final calculated grade, which is going to do the math that you have set up for D2L, and then you have this empty final adjusted grade column. In this case, you can manually add scores to this final adjusted grade column, and you have to put both the points earned and the total number of points possible. So in this case, I may want to round up and say the student earned 600 out of 641 points, and I can, pulling that 641 number from the final calculated grade. I can also do the drop down menu next to the final adjusted grade and select grade all. I'm going to keep my changes that I just made. And now I'm taking a look at just that final grade screen. And you can see here I have the calculated grade, that's the math that I set up in D2L. And then here I have the final adjusted grade area. And again, on this screen, I can go ahead and assign final adjusted grades for my students. Even if a student hasn't actually earned a grade so far in any of the other columns in the course, I can input the grade that I want in that final adjusted grade area. The other thing that you have to do if you want students to be able to see their final adjusted grade is you have to make sure that that final adjusted grade is released to the students. So you can do that by either individually checking all the boxes in this release final adjusted grade column, or you can go here to final grades and you can say release all and it's going to say this action will release the final adjusted grade to all of the users. Are you sure? You say yes. Now you're going to notice that all of those boxes are checked, and when I hit save, and yes, and cancel, now when I scroll to the end to look at my final adjusted grade, you can see you have this little eye icon for each student, and that means that the students can actually see this grade. For final grade columns in general, if you don't see the little I next to a score, the students can't see it. Now that's not true about other columns in your course, it's just true for the final grades, but in the final grades area, Whichever grade and whichever score has a little I next to it, that's the one that students are going to see, and that's how you use the final adjusted grade functionality in D2L.